I did one of the few westerns that they ever did as a Twilight Zone. It was a ghost story that I told uh, Monty Pittman, who was the right one of the writers on the show, and Monty wrote it into a western for Lee Marvin, Strother Martin, and I. You know something, Mr. Mothershed? Maybe by now Pinto knows who it was that killed him. Reckon you're some disappointed, Connie, being as how you spent so much time trying to find it for yourself. That I am, Ira. Four months of the year wasted looking for him. And I could have found him here. That ain't the way Pinto tells it. He claimed you didn't even try to catch up to him. Hello, Johnny Rob. Still big at blabbermouth as ever, I find. You do spout awful lot, Johnny Rob. That's rock and roll Rosie from Riley. <laughs> Maybe y'all remember that. That was on an Andy Griffith show that I was on. In fact, I played the guitar player, and then uh, the... Uh, the show was pretty popular, and so they brought it back for the second time, which was a thrill to me. Well, it was a thrill the first time I got it, because the agent called, and of course I wanted to work with Andy Griffith and uh, Don Knox, of course, and that wonderful cast they had on the, on that show. And uh, and so I went over, and, and especially when they said, well, you're going to play a musician, that tickled me. They called me up and said, uh, uh, can you uh, play the guitar? And I said, are you kidding? I have two guitars, which I did. Um, yeah, a lot of people on the show, they don't know, they, they always wondered if I, it was me that played the guitar. Well, I'm, maybe with this, uh, we'll clear it up once and for all. The little rock and roll Rosie from Riley. Uh, wait a minute, just before I do that, though, I want to tell you something. What was sort of funny to me, I get over on the set, and uh, uh, they said, well, here, here is the music. So they hand me the music, it was rock and roll Rosie, and I said, well, wait a minute, uh, See, I don't read music. Uh, I play by ear, and uh, uh, but I'll give you a little sample anyway. And I start uh, to uh, play it, and uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll play a little bit. I'll show you what I, I did. But you know what was funny about the doggone thing, though, was that now Andy played the guitar. He he didn't play it very well, but he he liked to play it. And the makeup man, uh, Lee Greenway, he played a banjo. Well. We'd sit around on the set air and uh, horse around, you know, between takes, you know. And uh, so I got to, uh, I got to be around the boys who, who really liked music. I wrote a, a few uh, lyrics to some songs. I was uh, under contract to Gene Autry, challenging four-star record company, and I wrote some uh, lyrics. And uh, Ricky Nelson cut one of my songs on his album, and uh, Lefty Brazil and uh, and uh, Mr. Wallace, well, and. Uh, yeah, that tickled me to death because you know I thought, well, maybe I'm I was hanging around with Glenn Campbell and all those nice people. So, oh, back to rock and roll, Rosie from Riley. Okay, here we go. Wait, uh, listen, um, this is a, a different type of guitar than I played on uh, the Andy Griffith show. This is a newer version, and uh, this I think this is pretty. Don't you? This is pretty, pretty nice little thing here. I went down to the reunion. The 35th reunion. Uh, I was very flattered. They invited me down there to Riley, and uh, at the uh, Andy Griffith reunion, and I said, "Well, you know, I wasn't really a running regular on uh, on the uh, Andy Griffith show." And they said, "No, but but the uh, the guitar playing uh, thing was very popular, and so I was playing with Bobby Fleet in uh, a band with the Beat, and and I played rock and roll Rosie from Riley." Listen. Uh, rather than me playing it again uh, uh, for you, uh, why don't I show you some clips from the Andy Griffith Show, and you'll get to hear the whole band, which I'm sure you will appreciate, rather than just playing with a single instrument. Anyway, uh, so let's go to the clip and... Uh, 